going grocery shopping? You can now see inside your fridge from your smartphone. Need to switch channels on your TV? Your smartphone can do that too. Need help waking up? How about lights that turn on in sync with your phone's alarm? Smartphones are going to be the remote control for our lives, controlling our home, security, heating and ventilation and air conditioning. The trend of using phones to replace menial tasks is nothing new. But according to transparency market research, the home automation sector is expected to grow from $17 billion in 2011 to $47 billion in 2018. Really what you're talking about is anything that you can manage or be controlled remotely. And that opens up an, an enormous world, both in the home and, and in industry. At home, companies like Savant Systems are allowing us to control our living rooms simply by tapping a touchscreen photograph. I can basically just touch the light in the picture and it goes off in the room and off in the picture. And startups like Viper have developed apps to remote control your car. OK, so check this out. If I want to start my engine using my smartphone, all I have to do is download the Viper app, tap on this button right here where it says Smart Start, and the engine starts. But none of this is cheap. Viper's technology retails at $300, while a smart fridge costs over $3,000. A lot of people say they're interested in this capability, but they perceive it as something that is only for rich people, you know, for Bill Gates's house and not for their house. Experts say as prices fall, automated tech will no longer be for the wealthy few and the night riders among us. The car just drove around the truck and steered itself. But for us all, that future mass market appeal has Nissan joining forces with Intel to develop a vehicle that notifies the owner's smartphone if their parked car is hit by another driver. Meanwhile, iRobot makes robotic cleaners that can wash floors and clean carpets. Remind you of anything? Just cleaning the rug, ma'am. But the Jetsons didn't have a smartphone to control theirs. <laughs> Samsung is calling its Galaxy S4 phone a life companion. Perhaps we're not that far off from needing anything else to get by. <laughs> Zane Asher, CNN, New York.